Good evening, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. Today is March 30th, 2018. I need to bring something to everybody's attention that I had not uh, made this connection before and uh, just want to uh, bring this to light here. We've got this uh, program. It's called Global Zero. Global Zero is an international nonpartisan group of 300 world leaders dedicated to achieving the elimination of nuclear weapons. The initiative launched in December of 2008 promotes a phased withdrawal and ver verification for the destruction of all the devices held by unofficial members of the nuclear club. That's kind of interesting the way that is said. I, I shared a video the other day about uh, when uh, the Easter breakfast, Obama's Easter breakfast from the club to the resurrection. And so here we're talking about a nuclear club. The Global Zero campaign works toward building an international consensus and a sustained global movement of leaders and citizens for the elimination of nuclear weapons. History of Global Zero. Global Zero was launched in Paris in December 2008 by more than 100 political, civic, and military leaders. There they announced a framework plan for the elimination of nuclear weapons starting with deep reductions to the U.S. and Russian arsenals. Global Zero gave letters signed by more than 90 Global Zero leaders to President of the United States Barack Obama and President of the Russian Federation Dmitry Medvedev urging them to commit to the elimination of nuclear weapons. Global Zero Commissioner Senator Chuck Hagel and Ambassador Richard Burt met with President Medvedev in Mos Moscow and discussed the agenda. Okay, this, this organization since 2000 and eight has Barack Obama in front of it and there were more than 100 political and military leaders right now there are more than 300 world leaders okay 300 world leaders this is a program that was started by Barack Obama and president of Russia Medvedev in 2008 this is 10 years old okay now I want to show you the importance of okay number one we've got this uh, number one we've got the logo for global zero remember uh, you know this circle it looks like uh, Barack Obama's signature the O and the line through let me uh, pull up uh, Obama's signature here Okay, so we see this O, and then we see the uh, signature of Barack Obama and the O and how there's a line through it. And then uh, we also s remember the uh, program called Global Citizen, and that O is highlighted in there, Global. And the O is highlighted, and here in this, in this, uh, in this logo, the, the whole thing is centered around the O. Global and OBA Obama global citizen the O is highlighted it's Obama now I want to ask you a question here and uh, anybody in their right mind okay global zero a world without nuclear weapons all right global zero a world without nuclear weapons why would they use the word zero in a program about nuclear weapons when the phrase ground zero in terms of nuclear explosions and other large bombs, the term ground zero describes the point on the Earth's surface closest to a detonation. Ground zero, global zero. Do you get what I'm saying? Can you see this connection? Barack Obama started this program back in 2008. 
300 world leaders are working in conjunction to promote a world without nuclear weapons. Barack Obama's right in the center of it. Global Zero. Global Citizen. OBA. The Zero. Barack Obama. The O in Barack Obama. Global Citizen. The O. Global Zero. The O. Global Zero. A world without nuclear weapons. Ground Zero. In terms of nuclear explosions and other large bombs, the term Ground Zero describes the point on the Earth's surface closest to a detonation. Now you understand why they called this program Global Zero. Passover and Resurrection Day this weekend, guys. The true new year on God's calendar. Year of Jubilee, 70 years of Israel. The time has come. Here is one more revelation that the Lord has given to me. Steve Fletcher, a trumpet for my people. I pray you are blessed tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen.